ATSC 3.0 is the technology that is going to allow you to view your favorite broadcast television programs when you're connected to an over-the-air antenna on your 4K or 8K television. Hi and welcome to our channel all about home electronics where in this video we're going to explain two general topics. One, in order to view your favorite broadcast television programming from an over-the-air antenna what equipment are you going to need? And second, once you have your equipment properly connected, what things are going to prevent you from seeing 4K or 8K on your television? We're going to start right after this. We have to begin with a very brief overview of what is ATSC 3.0 Next Gen Television. And simply put, it's an evolution of older antenna transmission technologies, starting with ATSC 1.0, then going up to 2.0. And some viewers will remember when the transition was made from analog to digital and you had to have an external tuner box. With ATSC 3.0 Next Gen, this is a future proofing technology that is going to allow for the transmission of those 4K and 8K resolution signals to your television when you're connected to an antenna. Now we have published links to a variety of these topics in the description below the video and we want to start with the television, the example that we're showing here. Only a percentage of televisions sold today have an ATSC 3.0 tuner built in. It's not the letters that are significant, it's the number 3.0. Most TVs have either an ATSC 2.0 or an ATSC 1.0 tuner built in but very few have a 3.0 tuner built in like this one right here. And if you want to go out into the marketplace and shop for a TV that has an ATSC 3.0 tuner built in, sometimes it's not always easy to determine whether or not the TV you want to buy has the ATSC 3.0 tuner built in. So if you're shopping for one and you're talking to a salesperson or you're looking at specifications of the particular television, it's not the letters that are important. It's the number, and what you're going to want to look for is 3.0. Now maybe you're asking yourself, look, I already have a 4K or an 8K television. Um, what if I don't want to go out and buy another TV just so that I can connect it to an antenna? Well, the option of getting an external tuner is available, and we chose this one from a variety of different manufactured models of competing brands because this particular external tuner has of course the ATSC 3.0 tuner technology built into it but it supports up to four televisions in the house or the office and here's what that means two uh, televisions can watch ATSC 3.0 next gen 4K 8K programming simultaneous while another two can only watch 1080p um, and it all goes over your Wi-Fi with one exception and that exception is that you've got to plug this tuner into your Wi-Fi router using a hardwired Ethernet cable like this and the other one goes into an available port on the back of your router. Now the signal once it reaches your router will go throughout your house or office via Wi-Fi but in order to view the content from this external tuner on that given TV you have to download the app onto the TV which calls to the next question what if your TV doesn't allow you to add apps? Maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but a lot of televisions that are available today don't allow you to actually add an app to your current app selection. What do you do in a case like that? Then you have to add a streaming device such as Apple TV, Roku, any Google product, or Amazon Fire, or the like. Okay, so now that we've gone over the general explanation of what equipment you're going to need, we also need to go over why might you not see something in 4K or 8K when you're connected to an antenna. And we have found that there are four general reasons why you won't be able to see it. Number one, your local broadcaster simply isn't broadcasting in ATSC 3.0 next gen television yet. So you could always call your local broadcaster to see if they have the equipment installed 
or when it's going to be installed and when you can access it. Number two, so let's say you determine that your local broadcaster is in fact broadcasting in ATSC 3.0 that doesn't necessarily mean that the program that you're trying to view has been filmed with video gear that is filming in 8K or 4K. So just because they're broadcasting it that way doesn't mean it was filmed and that you'll see it that way. The third reason that you might not see 4K or 8K video when you're connected to your antenna with a proper setup is because your broadcaster simply isn't broadcasting it. They might have the equipment, the program may be filmed in 4 or 8K, but your broadcaster simply isn't transmitting that particular ATSC 3.0 format. And lastly and fourth is maybe you're not actually programmed into the correct channel and let us show you what we mean by that. So what you're looking at right now is we have zoomed into the antenna uh, channel selection on our example television. And you'll notice that 15.1 is listed twice. What that means is, is that this top 15-1 is ATSC 2.0 and the bottom number is ATSC 3.0. And what happened when we did a channel scan the television automatically filtered out duplicates. So we weren't seeing the ATSC 3.0 next gen signal until we went in and put a check mark in that box right there. Which leads us to our last uh, and final point. You may ask yourself, once I, once I set all this up, is there an actual difference? Will I notice a difference? And the short answer is, in our opinion, yes you will. What we found was that the resolution is far sharper. Um, the colors are more bright, they're more vibrant, there's more color in the video. And with ATSC 3.0, that transmission from the antenna also will allow for a surround sound signal to come over the air.